Today we are going to talk about the epithelial tissue, basically classifications of the epithelial tissues and also the locations where you can find them. Okay, so epithelial tissue simply means the type of the tissue that underline the body organs. Okay, it underlines the surface of the body organs. So the surface of the body organs can be the skin, the surface of the skin, because the skin also is part of the body organ and also the organs that are inside the, bo the body. So it underlines the surface of body organs and also the mucous membrane surfaces. Okay, so mucous membrane surfaces, uh, it refers to the, the surfaces that um, it is responsible for producing mucus. So uh, epithelial cells, uh, epithelial tissues, are classified based on the layer and also shapes. So when naming the, an epithelial, you need to start with the, the name of the layer then followed by the shape. So when it comes to the layers, there is two types of, which is the simple and straight when we talk about the, sim uh, the simple, this means it has one layer of cells, one layer of cells, one layer of cells. So, so let's just consider this is one layer of cell, meaning there is no other layer on top of these cells, one layer of cells, okay? Then when you talk about stratified, this simply means more than one layer of cells. Okay, one layer of cells, more than one layer. So meaning it can be two, three, or four layers, and so on. So this is a um, straight fight. Then when you go to shape, you consider the shape of the cells, okay? So the first one it is the squamous. Squamous, it has the flat cells, okay? Flat cells. These are flat cells. The cuboidal, cuboidal, these are tissues or cells that is that that that, that makes um, the tissue of the epithelial. So epithelial, the cuboidal, it has um, the cube like cells, cube like cells. The cube like cells yeah this is the cuboidal so the cube like appearance it has got um both sides which are equal then for the column we know that the column is like this okay so column meaning it is taller than wide okay it is taller than white. So this is how uh, can these cells are classified. So now remember, when classifying them, you need to start with the layer, then you end with the, the shapes. So if you want to classify a simple with one of these shapes, you can say simple squamous, simple cuboidal, simple columna, okay? Then, if you want to classify now stratified with the shapes, you can say stratified squamous, stratified cuboidal, stratified columnar. These classifications, it can be also accompanied with some special features, okay? Special, special features, okay? It can be also accompanied by some special features. What are these special features? We can add gelatin, cilia. So based on the location of these cells, we can classify as ever to be keratinized, non-keratinized, or ciliated. Okay. So let's talk about... Um, Keratinized. Keratinized uh, epithelium, 
these are tissues with the dead cells meaning the tissues the epithelial cells uh, which underlines the organs that has the dead cells okay that has dead cells meaning the organs that are dry okay for example what are some of the organs that has the dry surface it is the skin okay so meaning what makes the skin to have that dry surface is because of keratin it's because of keratin then the organs that has living cells it has the wetty surface okay wetty wetty surface wetty surface so this as the living cells so what are some of organs that has got to the wet surface it is the mouth the esophagus and also the anolepto so now how can we classify based on the color the keratin so for the skin it is the only one which has the dry cells so skin the epithelium of the skin as keratin so now how can what type of epithelial cells that are found on the surface of the skin okay it is stratified so what do you know what do you need to know about stratified stratified it is the only epithelial epithelium that can have either keratinized name keratinized nized name or nani keratinized we can't put um the simple to be keratinized or non keratinized no but only to the straight fight so where can you find the straight fight cells straight fight cells can be found in area where um, in area or organs that experience abrasion okay that experience pressure okay that experience pressure that force so that's where you can find the straight fight such as the skin the skin experiences the pressure the tear and wear from the environment this pressure and also the mouth in the mouth is pressure of when chewing and also the esophagus experience the pressure when swallowing the bolus and also the then no, the anal left which is the anus also it can have so whenever you are classified you, you, you want to find out where these epithelial cells are found just think about the function that is done um, in that organ okay when you think about the uh, the function that is performed in that organ you'll be able to, to classify just think about it where is the tear and where or the uh, abrasion or the pressure which organs experience that pressure you see that's where you can classify straight fight okay and also mostly straight fight it is its function it is for protection okay for protection from what from abrasion the pressure and also wear and tear what about mostly simple where can you find the simple you can find simple epithelium in organs where there is filtration filtration and also diffusion so think about anywhere anywhere where there is diffusion occurs and also filtration knowing that this organ it is mostly its function is for filtration you can classify okay so now let's say we talk about simple squamous okay squamous it has the surf, the, the flat surface meaning it is it has the 
small length in height okay this one is as higher length in height than this one this one has the highest length in height than this one so meaning this one since it is flat meaning it has higher length as a uh, least length it can be found also in area where there is filtration filtration and need diffusion so when these two combines together simple squamous meaning simple squamous you can find them in area where there is a diffusion and filtration so what are some of the areas where there is diffusion and filtration you can talk about the the bowman capsule there is filtration there okay you can talk about the 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 blood vessel the blood vessel there is filtration there okay you can talk about uh blood vessel there's filtration you can talk about the alveoli alveoli in the alveoli there is the diffusion of gases so thinking about an organ and the type of the function that that organ um perform it can help you to classify this what about the cuboidal okay cuboidal mostly it is um, specialized in circulation circulation okay it is mostly specialized in circulation okay and also some absorption abu absorption absorption so circulation and absorption so now whenever you are thinking about it, circulation and absorption think about the area that does much of the circulations okay so meaning since it does the circulation stratified is for protection so now can we say stratified cuboidal in the area where there is circulation no but it, simple cuboidal for circulation okay because this one is a single layer it is possible so that um the circulated the uh, substances can reach there can move out of the cells fastly because of the one layer so it is sense to say simple cuboidal is for circulation so meaning the cuboidal mostly are found in the glands glands okay and since it is also responsible for absorption you can also find, find them in the the leno 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 tubule leno tubule leno tubule it is um for examples of leno tube there is proximal tubule distal convoluted tubule all those and also the ascending and descending limb so these tubule they are that's the, the most of the process that occurs is the absorption as well as the circulation so simple cuboidal for absorption and circulation so mostly simple cuboidal you find them in the lenal tubule and also the glands so just think about where there is the circulations circulations of mucus and also circulations of water circulations of ions absorptions of water absorptions of ions you can find it this simple cuboidal what about stratified remember stratified it is for protection so meaning when you combine stratified okay and the squamous so stratified um stratified squamous it is mostly found in the areas the one that we have mentioned the skin okay so stratified it can be keratinized or non-keratinized it's the only epithelium that can be keratinized or non-keratinized so stratified can be non-keratinized or keratinized so when you talk about keratinized we are referring to the surface body surfaces with the dead cells 
meaning the surfaces that are dry. What are those? These are the skin. Okay. So the skin, it is it. It has the epithelial cells, which is stratified, squamous, keratinized epithelium. Why keratinized? Because it has the dead cells. Then, when you go to the mouth, because in the mouth there is also there is tear and wear. Remember, stratified is found in where there is tear and wear. Okay, stratified is squamous. Stratified squamous is found in where there is tear and wear, where there is abrasion to protect. Okay, so that it, it can protect the organ from the damage. So stratified squamous non-keratinized it is the type of epithelium that is found in the mouth why non-keratinized because in the mouth the mouth is not dry it is wetty and also the esophagus it has the same stratified squamous non-keratinized why non-keratinized because it is also um uh, it, it 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 isn't dry but it is wet same the anorectal that's the anus. Same. It isn't dry, but it is wetty. So, this is how you can classify them. Think about the organ, okay? Think about the function that occurs in that organ. And also, relate it to the classifications. What is simple does? What is stratified does? So, when we go now to stratified cuboidal okay stratified cuboidal since stratified it is for protection now when it is combined with cuboidal what does it protect it protects the ducts the ducts what is this ducts the ducts is simply just the tube the tube that is connected to the glands so when the gland the gland circulates the mucus, it circulates into the tube so that it can be transported through this tube. So this same this tube, this tube, it is the one that has the stratified cuboidal. So stratified cuboidal is see found in the ducts. Okay, in the ducts. Okay, for protection. But for simple cuboidal, it is in the glands, the glands, which is the circulating cells. Then, the stratified columna, it is also for protection, but these are rarely found in, um, in organs. Then, what of now, we talked about these special features. We are from talking about keratin. Keratin can only be found to stratified. Only stratified can have keratin. So meaning when the stratified has keratin, meaning it is stratified keratinized. But when the stratified doesn't have keratin, it is stratified non-keratinized. Okay? So meaning when you combine this and this, this and this and this and this, and this can be stratified squamous or stratified cuboidal or stratified columnar keratinized or stratified squamous stratified cuboidal stratified columnar nani keratinized okay so but specifically stratified squamous it is the one that can be keratinized or nani keratinized so now let's go to cilia here cilia these are air-like structures that are found on the surface of the epithelial cells okay which cells specifically has the cilia cilia can only be found in columna and also other special epithelium of which we are going to talk about, which is it? Pseudo, pseudo stratified, 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 pseudo stratified. So 
Only columnar and the pseudo stratified are the one that has got the cilia. Okay, they are like air like structures. What is the function? The function is to move the mucus, okay, to drive the mucus so that the, the mucus can be moving to continue wiping or cleaning the air or trapping the, um, the macro, ma, ma, microbes, dusts, where in the respiratory tract. So cilia, it propels. So you can find ciliated cells in the, the thoracic tube. Can tube, okay, to move the egg to the uterus. And also in the respiratory tract, respiratory tract. That's where you can find the ciliated. So meaning, when you know, you identify that these cells are this type. It is, there is the possibility of you knowing the organ. So when you identify the cell, it is easy for you to know that this organ is like is this. Without identifying the epithelial cells, the epithelial tissue, you can't identify the organs. So for you to identify the type of um, organ in histology, you first need to identify what type of epithelium. When you identify the type of epithelium now, you start now asking questions. Which organs or which organ has this type of epithelium? So in it, in, in, um, the moment we see columna, which is ciliated, the, these two organs should come into the mind. It's either the respiratory tract or the productive system. When it is the respiratory tract now, so meaning identifying just the tissue, it is just the 25% of identifying the type of organ. Then the other other specific features should come, they will start to come in. So I've said pseudo stratified, alcilia, and the columna. So columna, it has cilia others don't have cilia so now let's talk about columnar which area is most rich in columnar cells so columnar i said before stratified columnar it is found but mostly it's very rare but for simple straight uh, simple columnar here it is f mostly found mostly found in the GI tract, GI tract, that's the simple columna. GI tract meaning starting from the stomach, okay, starting from the stomach, starting from the stomach, stomach, okay. starting from the stomach, up to the large intestine up to the large intestine, starting from the stomach up to the large intestine, it has got a simple columna. So meaning, what is common, stomach and the large intestine, meaning from the stomach, there is the small intestine, then the large intestine. And there is also another, uh, another cells of the, uh, the organs of the intestine, such as the pancreas, and also the gallbladder. So these things, these organs are common for digestion processes. So these cells, these organs, contain simple columna. Simple columna. The function of the columna, it is for circulation and absorption. Since they are in the, the organs of this, the, 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 stop, the, the GIT, it is mostly responsible for the circulation and the absorption. So this is how you can classify them. Look at the organ, okay? Ask the question, what function does that this organ perform? When you find out the function, then since its function is circulation, okay, circulation, 
which two organs is uh, epithelial tissue is responsible for secretion? Okay, it is cuboidal and columnar. Okay, between columnar here, columnar is mostly rich in where in the DIT. Okay, which is simple columnar. This columnar that is in the DIT, it is non ciliated. Okay, it is non ciliated. Okay, but what of the ciliated? The ciliated, the, the, organ, the, the organ where you can find the ciliated, it's the what? The respiratory tracts and the what? The, 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 the reproduction system where in the thoropian tube. Okay. So meaning, when you see that, ah, this is for circulation, so meaning it can be either in the respiratory or the reproduct, production system. Okay. So now, you see, does this column have cilia, okay? If it has cilia, meaning you remove the reproductive, the, the, the DIT, you remain with the, the respiratory and the what? The European tube, okay? So meaning one of these, you can pick one. Then for cuboidal, when you see the cuboid shape cells, you start asking the questions. Which organ has got cube cells, okay? There is one, the ducts. Okay, there is also the, the lemma tube. Okay, when you ask those questions, the duct, the lemma tube, um, the glands, so now you start choosing. Is it simple? Okay, is it stratified? Stratified mostly is for the duct. Okay, then for simple, it is for the Grand itself, the grand itself. So, meaning if it's for the simple, you are going to remain with the, the leno tubule and also the glands. Then you pick one of these. So, that's how you can classify them. So, now what about goblets? Goblet cells. The goblet cells are rich in also columna and the pseudo stratified the pseudo stratified is that's the one we're going to talk about we're going to talk about them there and also the transition so to boy uh, goblet goblet cells they are found in a pseudo stratified and columnar so whenever you see the goblet cells just know that this is the columnar and the pseudo stratified okay Let's um, just draw now. So now, let's talk about um, the pseudo stratified and the transitional tissue. These are kind of spatial epithelia. Spatial epithelia. Why? Because these, they do not follow the previous naming where you start with the symbol followed by the layer, no? But these are just like this, that's their name. So pseudo means false, then stratified, meaning it looks like stratified, but it is not. Okay? We said stratified is more than more than one layer. More than one layer. So stratified, pseudo stratified, it looks like it is stratified, but it's not. See how it looks. So what you need to know about pseudo stratified? All the cells, they start from there basement membrane okay but these cells they have different heights and also the different the, the way the nucleus is located it is located in different layers so this is this is how the cell can be okay they all start from the same 
but the eyes are different here. Have you seen this cell? It started from here, then it ended here. This one, like this. So, when you see here, this one can have the nucleus here, this one can have the nucleus here, this one can have the nucleus here, this one can have the nuclear here, the nuclear here, the nuclear here, the nuclear here, here, here. Have you seen the appearance? It is looking as if it has different layers, more than one layer, but it only have one layer. It has this one type, okay, and also these two ones. But what the special feature for them is that all the cells, they all start from the basement membrane here. But the heights of each cells, the nucleus of each cells are located at different heights. So this is pseudo stratified. It can be ciliated, they are ciliated, ciliated, pseudo stratified, ciliated, ciliated, ciliated. Same as it, columna, columna are ciliated. So this is the pseudo stratified. So most of you can find them same in the respiratory tract. Okay. It has also the goblet cells, the goblet cells. The goblet cells it has the goblet cells so the cilia and the column i mean the the, the, the pseudo stratified and the columna has both the cilia and also the goblet cells okay but for ciliated it is exceptional it can be none or non ciliated or ciliated let's go to transition Transition, they are type of um, stratified type. It has multiple layers of cells. Okay? Multiple, so, okay, the multiple layers, so, with multiple layers, cells at the bottom can be of any types. type. It can be columna, cuboidal, but the focus is it, the cells that are on top, okay? So let's say we have put these cells of, of either cuboidal or columnar. But the one which is on top here, it is the one that helps us to identify that this is the transition tissue. Why? Because the superficial cells, there are domed shape, or they are flat, which is squamous. Don't the shape or flat or flat or don't the shape. More especially, you can find them at the nucleus here. The nucleus, maybe the nuclear here. So, this is the transition. Transition. It is rich in. Elastic fibers. Why? Plastic, plastic fibers. Because um, this is fiber it is responsible for extension and recoiling. So this mostly uh, transition it is found in the bladder. 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 Ureter. Ureter. Urethra and urethra. So that's where you can find transition. So never you see. Transition cells just know that you are dealing with the either the bladder, the lateral, the, the, the lateral, because these they stretch. Okay, so this is what I thought you can classify. Remember, when you're doing with histology, you need to know 
first thing, identify the type of the cells. Cells. What are those cells that are there? Okay? When you identify the cells, if it is cuboidal, stratified, or squamous, you can ask questions. Where do these cells are found? When you list the organs of the cells, that where the, the, the organs where you can find these cells, let's talk about the columna. Columna. Columna, you can find them in the GIT. Okay? In the respiratory tract, respiratory tract, and also the, the reproduction system. Okay. So now, when you find that these cells are columna, so meaning what should come into your mind is it either the GIT or the respiratory or reproductive system. Now, when you talk about the GIT, the GIT columna, which is a simple columna, it doesn't have cilia. It is non ciliated So meaning, when the epithelial cells that you are seeing are non ciliated meaning you know that it's the GIT. But if it is ciliated, meaning it's, it can be one of these. But if you find that these cells are non ciliated, it's the GI tract. So that's how you can. So meaning here, the splitter tract, there are also another special features that can come into to identify that this is the respiratory tract, okay, such as the, the glands, those things comes in so that it can help you. So that's how we can classify your cells.